Hello and welcome back to our Iron Man challenge in Freeman and as you can see I'm doing a little bit of extra gambling here basically what I've done is literally just gamble in my off screen time because I didn't want to get into any battles before I started recording because it kind of puts me in jeopardy and I, I want you to kind of see every single fight unless we're doing like an auto resolve victory or unless it's just like a super easy enemy that is not ever going to be able to take us out but as this is a very early stage in the series basically every every enemy has a chance to absolutely murder us oh there we go we actually got an skks that's a really nice rifle to give to some of our some of our units i'm hoping for the obvious here i am hoping for the spetsnaz helmet or maybe the striker 12 or indeed the shot 12 any of these or the pkm any of those would be absolutely fine. I'm not going to really be using them because I did acquire another weapon through gambling, which I will show you after we are done here. And let me just tell you, it's a sniper rifle. Oh yes, it's a sniper rifle. It's going to be really, really fun for us. Oh, there we go. Nice. Nice. That's really, really good. Look at that. We got the shot 12. Please give me the Spetsnaz helmet. I really want, really, really badly want the Spetsnaz helmet. This is like one of the only ways, as far as I'm aware, apart from recruiting the unit that actually wears the helmet and stealing it from them that you can actually acquire this helmet because i haven't really seen it in any marketplaces so we have two more times that we'll be able to try this now once more after this one yeah there we go we actually got it i can't believe it wow that's crazy okay really good luck right there and otherwise yeah, there we go. I don't really care about anything else anymore. That's really nice. Very nice indeed. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to go into the barracks here real quick. Militia riflemen are really, really good, but I'm going to start getting some armed bodyguards now. And I will recruit some more militia riflemen as well just to fill out the party sizes. As you can see, I've done a little bit of extra recruiting here as well. Let's create a new squad and let's just do an auto group up and auto equip as well oh yeah i probably shouldn't have done auto equip right now but it's okay because this guy can use uh this guy can use the shotgun and he's probably going to be really good at using it so let's give him a med kit that goes along with it and uh yeah once these guys level up they're going to be super powerful they're going to have decent launcher skill nothing too crazy unfortunately but they're going to have some decent launcher skill and otherwise uh yeah they yeah, it's going to be kind of annoying uh to, to begin with because i have three grenade launchers in my inventory right here and unfortunately none no, no people can use them apart from anna as you can see right there she can also use the skks but she only has six in marksmanship she needs one more level to be able to get that additional point in marksmanship and then she'll be able to use that and i don't know whether you notice otherwise I found some night vision goggles yes i found some night vision goggles so that's going to be really nice for us unfortunately i can't wear this armor yet because i actually need five more armor proficiency but this armor is going to be super super good for us and i don't know whether you noticed but there is the sniper rifle that i was talking about earlier really really good all right so we're going to head onward and we'll try and i'm thinking we'll try and kill this looter camp i think we might be able to do it even though most of our units are, well, let's just say not exactly amazing because they don't have weapons, but we're hopefully going to be able to equip them with weapons relatively soon. Technically, I could go to a marketplace and I could just buy them really, really cheap weapons. Uh, but personally, I feel like I feel like that might be too easy. I don't know. Is that is that too easy for the Iron Man challenge? I don't know. What I do know is that I very much like the organic nature of picking up weapons and using them. And that kind of says to me, you know, the whole guerrilla warfare thing. I feel like that is really, really cool. And hopefully we'll be able to come up from nothing without having purchased any weapons. We've literally just gambled and gained weapons that way. That's literally the only way that I have actually acquired any weapons at this point, with the exception of finding them in battles, of course. So that's pretty cool. And of course, the night vision goggles can't... Re I think you probably can gamble for them, but I haven't seen any town that has that as a reward. So it would be quite tedious to gamble for one specific item in particular. But I came across the Spetsnaz helmet completely through uh, sheer luck. 
you know, just sheer luck. Anyway, let's see what we can do here. Now, the cool thing about having a big amount of nighttime camouflage is that I'm basically, well, I would say I'm basically invisible for the most part, or at least I hope I'm kind of invisible. Ah, here we go, here we go. Okay, so we got enemies coming over from the side here. Let's get over there as fast as possible. Anna has already killed one of them, which is really good. She needs to kill more so that she can level up. Hello. Look at this guy. He can't even see me. Headshot. Yeah, that's what you get. Yeah, that's exactly what happens, though. When you're... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Now no, this guy obviously knows where I am. But I'm going to switch to my SKKS now because it doesn't have a scope and it's a little bit easier to use from close range. Do you see that? That was hilarious. The ragdoll. The ragdoll went flying. Is that one of my guys? Yeah, that's one of my guys. All right, so there you go. We're actually winning battles without me having to kill every single enemy, which is actually really nice. And look at this. There you go. These are all the weapons that we're going to be taking, and we will be equipping them on our, on our guys. They're going to be really, really happy about this. These fellows can now level up. Let's just auto-equip them. Yeah, look at that. They're all auto-equipped. Fantastic. Let's auto-equip there. Auto-equip there. They can't really do much, unfortunately. Let's just reward them all. There we are. Fantastic. All right, so I have not leveled up. Ah, oh, I'm, I'm kind of sad about that. But hopefully we'll be able to get some more experience as we go forward. Oh, hello. Yeah, I, I kind of want to fight an enemy general so that I can take him prisoner, but... From what I can remember, the developers have changed it so that if you do fight an enemy general and do succeed in capturing them, you're not going to automatically be able to convert them to your side. You kind of have to do a quest for them beforehand, and that's kind of annoying, but you know, I, I understand why they did that, because they want to make it so that it is more difficult for people to gain those powerful companions, because let's face it, they are extremely powerful and uh, it's going to be more difficult to gain those guys net from now on so anyway let's have a look is there anything else here that i actually want to purchase uh, maybe some grenades yeah i don't really need grenades to be honest what about barracks yeah i probably want to buy some more armed bodyguards or recruit them shall we say and do we have anything else no not, nothing really nothing really special there i like the cheetah assault special units so i probably will try and get those but uh, let's auto group up those guys, auto equip them a little bit. All right, so I'm thinking, <laughs> yes, I'm thinking we will try, if we can, to fight the looter camp in just a second. I'm hopeful that we will be able to get some more. Should I just, uh, no, I want to level up myself, to be honest. So I'm going to try and get as many kills as I can. But we are just fighting regular bandits. I personally feel like we would probably be able to fight some much higher level units. So I guess we'll see what happens as we go forward here. Maybe we'll be able to uh, maybe attack some mountain bandits or something like that. I'm just going to tell my people just to straight up charge in. Well, not charge, but straight up move forward. I want to get this fight over and done with so that we can go over to the looter camp as soon as possible. And then we will have a, a good shot at uh, a good amount of loot as well, which is going to be pretty fun. So let's see if I can see some units initially and then we will try to fire at them from long range obviously the svd rifle is uh, not the longest range weapon and it is a little bit difficult to use from long range at least for me in comparison to some other weapons like assault rifles in my opinion are much more my kind of weapon but for the sake of being able to kill enemies relatively easily Initially, I decided to go for a rifle build this time around. And it seems like my forces are already shooting. Ah, I went in the wrong direction. Of course I went in the wrong direction. Every single time, you know, that it happens every single time. Oh, well, never mind. We are going to lose a couple of people as a result, but that's okay. Because, as I say, as long as most of our forces gain experience, that's all that really matters. Everyone's going to get stronger as a result, and then I'll be able to equip them with the best possible loot. Oh, I'm being shot at from over there. And now he's hiding behind a tree. Wonderful. Oh, there he is. 
Get him. There we are. Ah, 105 experience. Really? That's it? I need to fight some, some better, better enemies. Oh well, never mind. Okay, so let's level this guy up and then we'll get this guy out of here and we'll just make him join over there. Give him a weapon or to equip or to equip. Okay, that's absolutely fine. All right, so let's go over to the VFA town here. Because so what I'd like to do, uh, they don't have any other special units. That's unfortunate. Let's get some more militia riflemen. I'm actually thinking maybe I can... Yeah, you know what? Let's recruit some female militia with gear. And I have enough I have enough cash, you know, I have enough cash. Let's have a look at this guy. Maybe he is going to Okay, yeah, another quest. I need to search and destroy the looter camp. Ah. Yes. Yes. I I was just about to do that. I was just about to do that. That's going to be pretty fantastic. All right. So this gambling is not exactly what I would like. This is a great helmet, by the way. Highly recommend going for this helmet. But we already have the Spetsnaz helmet and it's not really necessary for us to really try super hard for anything else. Anyway, I'm just going to sell this. There we go. Discount on salt. Ah, oh, salt's pretty good. Not too bad. Alright, so looter camp. Alright, so it looks like we've snuck into a uh, relatively deep point in uh, the bandit camp. And as you can see, they're patrolling around here. They're obviously aware of our presence. And uh, we will try to get a couple of people next to me here. Now, most of my units do not have the greatest of weapons or gear, so they might not be exceptionally good at this, but we'll try it nevertheless. There's one, two, three, four, right there. Five, six. Can't see anyone else by the looks of things. Over to the over to the right. And what about over to the left? Doesn't seem like we have anything there either. Interesting. They're all going to come out of the woodwork, I assume, as soon as we start shooting. But once my people are beside me, I'm probably going to try and fire. Going to go prone for this. There is someone behind those boxes there, I think. Well, there you go. We actually killed a whole bunch. We killed six of them by ourselves, amazingly enough. Ah, there's the others. Oh, it seems like we are... There we go. We are being shot at by that guy. Nice headshot. Seems like headshots are a lot easier to get in this version as well. Because I found that in the past, headshots are kind of difficult. Kind of difficult to get, but seems like this one, pretty easy in comparison. It seems like we're pretty good. All right, so that means I can move my forces down into the area. Alright, not too bad. We've only had uh, 11 units remaining and it seems like we already know where they are, as you can see right there. 
they all seem to be in that circle there. So I'm going to send some people over to kind of flank them a little bit. And we'll have a little bit over here by us as well so that we can kind of give them a small distraction. Well, that makes three left. And I guess that means sending my guys in. Let's do this. Oh, it seems like he was proning behind the uh, the sandbags there or something like that. Anyway, there you go. 15,000 credits, 1,000 experience gained. That's really nice. We're gaining a little bit of uh, relatively good weaponry and uh, various other stuff. So I'm just going to click take all and then we'll imprison as many of them as we can. Now, the great thing about this is that we have completed our quest for Yevgen and he is now going to join us, or at least I hope so. Can you join me? Yes. There we go. Right away, Commander. Fantastic. All right, so now we can level him up. We can gain him as many skills as he can get. As you can see right here, we already have Anna. She already has two assignable skill points, but I'm probably going to just leave the skill points for the moment until they actually become generals of ours because they can become generals, they can run around in the game world, and they can do all, all kinds of varieties of things, which is really, really fun. I think I'd probably be able to take this particular town right now. And I'm not even joking. I think I probably would be able to do that. But maybe we would just want to wait a little bit longer just to level ourselves up just a little bit. I'm wondering whether I should increase my leadership right now. How much party size do I actually have? 38. That's still pretty good. So I'm going to go for marksmanship. Get... 70 in armor and then we'll level up our rifle to 100 and now I can use the Spetsnaz helmet. Oh yeah, look at that armor rating, 65. Just insanity right there. All right, so let's go into the merchant here. Uh, probably won't sell the helmet, but I'll sell everything else that I don't need. Uh, we can technically sell the iron at the moment because we don't own anything specifically. Uh, we'll sell all that as well. There we go. Okay, that's pretty good. Is there anything else that I need to get? Uh, the the Grozo rifle, by the way, the Grozo rifle is really good. So if you see that and you're using assault rifles, go for it. It's a fantastic weapon. Uh, is there anything else that I want to get here? Probably not. What about armor? Anything better for me? This is technically better than what I'm using, but it is 7,200. A bit too much. For my liking and what about Yevgen there we go someone wanted the helmet okay everyone seems uh, everyone seems pretty good everyone seems pretty good to me so let's uh, let's move on uh, technically what I could do is I could go and fight this other looter camp we were able to do it relatively easily but I'm thinking hey you know what there's a better way that you can actually whoops I, don't, I do not want to fight you thank you very much could probably win maybe because this is the cfr the cfr are one of the easier factions in the game and there are uh, well a wide variety of different difficulties in regards to each faction and uh, the cfr or the chinivkin front rebellion are one of the easiest anyway let's see if i can find uh destroy a looter camp yeah there you go exactly what i was talking about so if we can destroy the looter camp nearby then I will be able to gain an additional 10,000 in credits. And that's going to be a wonderful, wonderful uh, little little paycheck right there. So we are going to attack. 
Ooh, they're going to get reinforcements. Is that okay? All right, so we're in the uh, particular siege. And, uh, well, we're going to need to be a bit quick. Now, here's the thing. If you are quicker than the timer in the top right of the screen, then reinforcements won't even arrive. So if you can eliminate all 20 enemies, then you don't even have to worry about the reinforcements. But bear in mind that you're still then going to, you're probably going to get less of a reward as a result. So you do have to bear that in mind. Headshot. Uh, let's try and get all these guys eliminated as best we can. And there's another one around the corner there as well. Just want to make sure that my forces are not getting crept up on. Wow. There are... Why, why, why are there so many? Why are there so many bandits coming out of here? Alright, we're going to have to tell my forces to move over in this direction to try and eliminate them because it seems like the looters might have had a similar goal in mind, even though they could have technically turtled themselves in a really, really good defensive formation and held out for a much longer time than what is actually going on here. It's crazy. I, I have no idea why they decided to do this. This is very strange to me. Oh well. They could have hid uh, at the very back of the map or something like that, or taken up, as I said, defensive formations and made it a lot harder for us to eliminate them, but they decided to patrol out in this in this uh, area, and that's not going very well for them at all. And I have n there's only three of them remaining. There's only three. It's insanity. Okay, well I guess uh, I'm just going to tell my people just to move all the way up there, see if we can eliminate them. And as I've said, if we can finish this. In the next 20 seconds, we won't even have to fight the reinforcements. Which is going to be kind of crazy. Yep, there you go. We finished. Eight seconds remaining until the seven looters. And there we, there we have it. <laughs> that, what? That was, that was super, super easy in comparison to what I thought it was going to be. Oh, well, never mind. Let's take all of those weapons. Now we can just level up people. And we can give them better stuff. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. Fantastic. So now that means that I have completed that task. And I will be able to head back to Zinkov and hand in the quest for an, an additional 10,000 cash, 1,500 experience, and a weapon. The weapon is not exactly great, but that doesn't really matter because I can always give that to someone or I can just sell it. And as you can see, people have swapped out their pistols and everything and they don't even need that anymore so let's just auto equip yeah that guy could definitely use a weapon and i think all of our people are actually equipped now as you can see yep everyone seems to be equipped and we are all good yeah we are all good with the exception of the fact that they don't have the best well armor they really don't have the best armor but that yeah, for the most part, that doesn't really matter too much, because if our guys can kill the enemy before the enemy kills them, then armor doesn't really matter. But, uh, of course, for me, armor is very, very much important, because Iron Man Challenge, of course. Iron Man Challenge. Anyway, we are going to increase our leadership now. I think that is going to be a good idea. And I'm not entirely sure about increasing my armor any further. I don't seem to remember anything... That is above 70 maybe 75 will be required at some point but i'm actually going to start increasing my assault rifle actually shotguns i'm gonna i'm gonna use shotguns in this in this particular series because shotguns have been revamped in a really really satisfying way so i'm hopeful that i'll be able to use a shotgun in my other slot and with that i thank you very much for watching and i will see you next time